Okay, what is up guys? We are back with another video. And this video is going to go over how to manage a trade after you've already entered. A lot of you guys are struggling. I feel like a lot of you guys are having a decent hit right now with my strategy. You understand how to enter the market. But if any of you go through two to four losses in a row, which I know hasn't happened to us since we opened up group three months ago, we're killing it, but it's going to happen. And if you guys have out of 10 trades, you win five, you lose trades, you should be profitable for the week, the month, whatever that is, if you're executing proper risk to reward on every trade. And so, okay, how do you do so? I'm going to show you right now. So here we have a nice little liquid grab setup. We're not going to get into why we're entering this trade because we're only dealing with management on this trade. But nonetheless, for all my positions, there's only two ways to enter the market. It's going to be off of a supply or demand zone, or it's going to be off a liquid grab of a higher low. That's it. That's the only two ways I'm able to enter the market. And so... If we're entering the market off the supply and demand zone, shouldn't we exit the same exact way? A lot of you guys have these, the gurus, bro, who it's, everything is a one-to-one, one, one-to-two, one-to-three, okay? So one-to-one one is sitting right here, boom. One-to-two is sitting right here, boom. One-to-three is sitting right here, boom, okay? And so they call TPs based upon these one-to-ones and one-to-twos hitting. I do not do the same. I enter the market the same way I exit the market. Now, capital preservation is key. So when I hit a TP1, I'm always, 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 always putting my stops to break even to make sure it is now a risk-free trade every single time, no matter what, okay? Stops to BE every single time. Let me put this as a uh, template. I know I keep forgetting to do that. Boom. Now, what do we do beyond this? Well, if we're entering the market off of a liquid grab or a supply and demand zone, we need to exit the market off of a liquid grab or a supply and demand zone. So up here, well, where is our next supply and demand zone or liquid grab? We got a nice little supply sitting up here, right? Boom. And then our liquid grab would be of highs sitting up top. Now, something to note here before we continue forward is I only take liquid grabs based upon previous session higher low that's it which plays perfectly in this example but in other examples that we'll go through a liquid grab could be any higher low although we wouldn't take the trade sure these are areas where price could potentially reverse and so if we get the reaction at that zone we're going to exit the market now what i mean by by reaction well if we're going to enter the market based off of a break of a previous candle high or low once we tap a higher low, or once we tap a supply and demand, we're going to exit the same exact way, okay? So our first TP is going to be sitting way up here for a nice little 1 to 1.78 pretty much. Um, I actually entered this trade uh, with team, and we did it aggressively because this is the overextended supply sitting down here, overextended lows. Um, so we had a nasty RR here, but nonetheless, for purpose of this video, <laughs> we're not going to do any impulsive trades. We're just going to break a previous can of highs. Okay. So we have a nice little one to 1.78 to come up to these highs. We don't do anything until that happens. So now that TP1 was hit, a stop to break even, this is now a risk-free trade. Okay. We're waiting for it to come up into the supply. We don't care what happens in between. We're either going to hit our break even entry, or we're going to hit our first TP sitting up here. There's no in between. And so let's see what happens. Boom, we come up and we tap it. So it's like, okay, if we enter the market based upon break of previous candle highs, we're going to exit the market based on previous candle lows sitting right here. So if this lower to be taken out, that means we're getting a reaction at the zone and we get out. If it doesn't, then we're going to chase our next TP, which is sitting up here for a TP2. So boom, we never got a break of previous candle lows. 
until right there. Now we just got breaker Pierce candle lows. We're getting a reaction at this supply. And so we have to hop out of the market. And we get a nice little one to uh, one to one right there, I think, or something like that. One to one point three, which is crazy. We had a one to three on this trade with our entry. But um, that, that's how you exit the markets. We don't care about where a one to one is at. We don't care about where a one to two is at. We care about what the market is actually telling us. Now, some people ask, um, if we were to hit a tippy two, Emmett, what do I do? You don't do anything at all with your stock, brother. You still have it at, at break even and you're waiting for TP threes to get hit over here until they get hit. You're either going to hit TP2 or you're going to go back to break even. Now, once TP3 gets hit, that's when we start managing our trade. We cannot lose money once we start going beyond TP2s. Ever, 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 ever. Not lose money, but even break even. We need to start participating and getting out of the market. And so there's two ways that you guys can manage the trade. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about both of them. And one of them is managing five-minute previous lower high. And two, moving stop loss to previous TP. To next TP, I'll just put it that way. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean? So if we were, let's just say that this was, we'll, we'll just get to another example. But um, if this was TP1 right here, this was TP2 right here, and this was TP3 sitting up here. Boom, okay? Once we hit that TP3, you guys have two options. You can put your stops below um, the previous five-minute candle lows, which is sitting right there, or you can start, which in this example is the same exact thing. You can start to move your stop loss to the previous TP. So if you just hit TP3, you're going to put your stop to TP2. Once you hit TP4, you're going to put your stop to TP3. Once you hit TP5, you're going to put your stop to TP4. It's all you do. Because we need to make sure that we are getting some money out of the markets once we hit those TP3s and TP4s. Do you understand? Um, I personally like doing the put stops to a TP3 once it hits TP4 type of thing, more so um, ch chasing previous five minute lows. And the reason for it is the market just needs a bit of room to breathe in between these areas of potential reversals. And if you guys are following strict five minute lows, um, you're, you're not allowing for the for price to breathe. And sometimes you break these previous candle lows right here, come back down, just retrace a little gap or something. And then we continue higher from that point. And you guys never get to see it because you didn't allow for your trade to breathe, which just didn't happen at this instant. So, um, but I, I just want to make that very clear before, while we're hitting TP1 and TP2, there's nothing you do, bro. There, there's nothing you do nine times out of 10. You keep your stops at BE and you allow for yourself to hit higher runners. This is the only way you guys are going to allow yourself to see those one to fives and one to sixes and so on. It is the only way is by allowing for your trade to breathe. Now, I know we're scalpers, so I know we've all chose this way of trading because we're, we're nervous to hold our trades and we, all, we want all of our trades to only last about 30 minutes. Um, and so this is why I'm giving you guys a strategy to understand how to exit the markets. Okay, so let's move on to our next uh our next example here, which is going to be AU, and then I'll be right back. So we got a nice little AU supply set up right here. Uh, we got our notes, or our rules sitting up here, so we know what to do once we enter the trade, which is going to be as soon as you break these previous candle lows. Uh, before we get into this trade, though, let's go ahead and mark out where price could potentially reverse at. We got a nice little demand sitting right here. We got lows sitting right here. We got a demand sitting down here. And then the ultimate low right here. I make these our take profit colors. Boom. Boom. And so this trade is for a grand one to three. Okay. Now, as you guys know, TP1 hits, we put stops to entry. So where's our TP1 at? It's right there. Let me mark it. But we have a demand sitting before we hit our TP1. Okay. So price could potentially reverse off of this. So if we were to come down, reverse here, and then come back to B, am I putting my stops to B because we get reversed? Well, no, it's a, there's just not enough room um, for price to even create um, a break of previous candle high to get out of this trade. You know, 
And it's not just for this example. Every single trade I take, if the trade does not hit a TP1, even if there's a demand or a low in the way, I do not count that. It has to hit a TP1 before I put my stops to break even. So we can go ahead and cancel that out. Waiting for TP1 to get hit. Boom, gets hit immediately. So it's like, okay, if we get a next candle that breaks above previous candle high, which obviously is in red right here, so we would just get stopped out BE, then we get out of the trade. If not, we wait to see what happens at this TP2 sitting down here. Boom. So we never broke previous candle highs sitting right here. Came close. We never broke highs. We sat in this trade. Now that we hit TP2, it's like, okay, let's see what happens at the zone. Nothing happens at this uh, low sitting right here. So now TP3, which is sitting at our demand, which is very close to our TP4. What do we do at TP3? Well, you guys have one or two ways to manage a trade, but this is after waiting to see if we have a break of previous candle high, okay? Which is our, our normal exit strategy for TP1, TP2, TP3, TP4, and so on. These are only beyond TP3 and TP3s to ensure that you guys are taking profits out of the markets even if price were reversed all the way from this TP3. So we have two rules in place. Well, you can chase a previous five minute high. Sitting up here, which currently right now, or you can put your stop loss at the previous TP, which in this instance, we're sitting at TP2 right now. Once we hit TP4, we're getting out of the trade. But if we had a TP5, once we hit TP5, we put our stops to TP4. Do you understand? And obviously, once TP4 gets hits, we're out of the trade. So right now, we're not obviously going to get a break of previous candle highs. If we have our five-minute um, stop sitting up here as well, doesn't look like it's going to hit. And boom, all TPs are hit. We exit the trade. That's that. Um, if you guys wanted to hold runners here, or if there was a TP5 sitting somewhere below, just for just for the sake of it, even I'd already be out, then it's like, okay, at this point here, if we get a break of previous candle highs, we get out of this trade based off of this reversal zone sitting here. Okay, let's see if it happens. And boom, right there. Break of previous candle highs, add a reversal zone. We get out of the trade for a nice little one to 3.06. Easy money, son. Okay, that's example three. Um, I just want to drill it into your head. It's like at TP1, TP3, TP3, and so on. Once previous candle high breaks, you get out of the trade regardless of where that's at. Even if that's a nice little one to 0.5 right here, you still get out of the trade after TP1 is yes. yes, here we are at the final example. This is going to be DJ liquid grab of previous session highs. Um, let me go ahead and put the position up. We got a world sitting up here. We're going to exit the market the same way we enter, which is one of two things. Supplier demands on a liquid grab. So before we uh, get going with the trade, let's mark out potential areas where price could reverse. We have a low sitting down here. Nice little demand sitting right there. Let me move these guys up here, just kind of out of our way. Boom. Boom, okay. Um, and then we have a low sitting down here. And we also have this little minor demand, just something to keep note of. So TP1 is going to be at a one-to-one, -one, which is right before demand, which is fucking beautiful. Uh, TP2 is going to be sitting at these lows. And then TP3 is going to be at these lows sitting down here. And then TP4 is this demand. And then obviously we're chasing lows sitting way down here for a grand one, two, seven. Okay. So as soon as TP1 hits, as we see up here, we put stops to entry. As soon as 2P2 hits, we don't do anything at all unless previous candle high were to break at that area reversal. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Boom, TP1 gets hit. So it's like, okay, let's wait to see if we get a previous candle um, break. If we don't, we'll hit TP2 and see what happens. Boom, so right away that gets taken out of there. Our stops are sitting right here. Because now that we're at this reversal zone, if we were to break past previous candle highs, we get out of this trade, okay? And it also tapped into this demand. And there we go. We get out of this trade sitting here, I think a one-to-one, -one, pretty much a one-to-one, -one, okay? Um, this is a little bit higher. I thought we got a one-to-one -one there. Yeah, nice little one-to-one -one sitting right there. Simple, 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 simple. We exit the same way we enter the market. 
all day long. So um, I hope that clears it up for you guys. I, I, f- I feel like I broke it down as simple as it possibly could be. If there's anything I missed, make sure you comment below to let me know so I can help you guys out. Or if there's anything else you guys are struggling with regarding my strategy, comment down below so I can help you guys out. Um, I go live every single day, Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. Eastern. And I do have a free group. It's down below. If you guys want to catch my same trades, I do have a link. It's down below. And I will see you every Saturday for a new video. Peace.